Now to a THP 11 morning original. These are stories you won't see anywhere else. Inflation and the rising price of pretty much everything is causing a change in the workforce. Some retirees who thought it was time to relax and enjoy life are going back to work just to make ends meet. All new this morning, Darren Bob talks to two Arkansans about this tough decision to make. Clara Duckworth retired in December from the State Workforce Services Office in Fort Smith. She's been working since she was 16 and says she was really looking forward to full-on retirement. Now she says she's more than likely going to find part-time work on fears these high prices will continue to climb. We that recently retired on set income, we're going to suffer from that unless we can get out there and start uh, adding more resources to our retirement funds. Gary Maxwell retired from the military and was laid off from the Fort Smith Post Office after 19 years. He now works four days a week, 12 hour days at Mars Pet Care in Fort Smith because he says his social security and military disability weren't enough. Well, I was stuck with about uh, $1,435 a month to live on and that, that don't work. He says he was able to live on that income until inflation set in. We could, we could pay our rent and our bills and what food we needed, uh, and that was it. You know, we had, we couldn't go anywhere, do anything. Clara and Gary are not alone. According to a Wall Street Journal report, more than a half million retirees across the country had to go back to work because inflation is simply too much. U of A economist Mervyn Jevaraj says retirees going back to work is a trend that actually started in early 2019 and got a lot worse during the pandemic. For two reasons. One, because wages are higher. And two, because several people retired early in the last two years, retired earlier than they had planned to because of COVID, but they're coming back. Claire says she's hoping it won't be difficult to find a job. They're looking for um, people that can kind of hit the ground running. And I think in that sense, people that recently uh, retired, we're going to have a leg up on that because we have skills, uh, today's skills to bring to the table. Jibberash says the rise in inflation will hopefully level off before the end of this year. We think, hopefully, fingers crossed, that inflation has peaked. Um, but there's going to be fairly, it's going to remain elevated uh, for a fairly long time, probably through the rest of this year. At that point, your increases in Social Security uh, will remain as part of your income. So uh, people should be able to retire again. But not Gary. I figure I'll be working from now on. I don't see any other way out of it. And that was Darren Bob reporting for us. Gary says he's doing fine. In fact, he had a birthday, he just turned 70, and says he plans to get married in just a few weeks. Good news for him. Clara says she's hoping to find part-time work in the medical field.